This is a live shot of Frisco Toyota Stadium. It's the Frisco Bowl. It looks like Louisiana Tech has the north end here. As long as they're spelling out the word tech, I hope they get that spelling right. Louisiana is always tough. Anyway, there is the temperature regime. We're expecting temperatures to be in the 50s, so dress up. Uh, we won't have a lot of wind. Fortunately, we'll be from the south, but we have uh, no rain in the forecast and partly cloudy skies. Really, it's a nice December evening. For a bowl game, one of six across the state of Texas here in bowl season. We have visibility suddenly drop the DFW and Denton is three quarters of miles down to a quarter of a mile at Addison and in Duncanville. So the fog isn't as widespread as it was yesterday, but there's areas where the fog is just as dense as it was yesterday. Hence the dense fog advisory out to 10 a.m. This is the fourth morning in a row we wake up with a dense fog advisory over some part of North Texas. All right, future sky forecast shows this cloud cover just not wanting to leave. We haven't seen hardly any sunshine at all here this work week. And today, well, will not be a stellar example of a sunny day. We'll put it that way. We'll have some clearing out uh, to the west. and It'll be dramatic. I mean, they'll be in the sunshine across Erath County. But across most of the Metroplex, the clouds will be really slow to leave. Same story for the evening hours. We really don't get a good clearing until we get into the mid-morning tomorrow. Then we break into some sunshine. Then some high clouds come in immediately at the close of the day for tomorrow. But look at these temperatures. This is the first Day of winter, by the way. It starts at 1028 a.m. officially as the winter solstice. And we'll start with temperatures mild in the upper 40s, but we will warm up really with the sun and these strong south winds. And we'll get into these temperatures into the mid 70s across the Metroplex, even warmer than out in Breckenridge and Stephenville. We're going to have temperatures in the upper 70s. Now, this is what happens Friday. All right, this is in the middle of the night. This is Friday morning. We could have some rain around already by 3 a.m. on Friday morning. And that's where the cold front is. So the official high on Friday will be in the 60s, probably, because that's what will be at midnight. And then the front comes through and drops the temperatures all day long. We end up with temperatures in the low 40s. By the time we get into the afternoon hours, and that is with some really strong winds and some rain, and of course the cloud cover around, so it's going to feel even colder than that. Here it is showing as far as the rain distribution, it's going to be generous again, not as heavy as the rain as yesterday, but that was a record rain yesterday, over three inches of rain. But we're going to see that the heavier rain will end off to the east. This is the noon hour. As we go into the later afternoon hours, we still see that uh, rain around the starting to clear out to the west. So it, this is how it ends up. Tomorrow afternoon in the mid-70s, Friday afternoon in the low 40s, and the feel-like temperature in the 30s. So that's a, almost a 40-degree swing in feel-like temperature as these temperatures drop. The rain will start to leave Friday evening. It'll be dry Saturday. Sunday, if you're out Christmas Eve shopping, temperatures in the 40s starting cold. Christmas starts very cold in the 20s, ends up around 50 degrees for an afternoon high.